There's a solar challenge coming up. The idea is to help create the technology for the clean and green cars of the future. Teams are coming from all over the world, but I want an I-team to be there. We need to design an ingenious solar car and then race it. That's the mission. Interested? Are we interested? Of course we are. Great. Let's get started. Designing a solar car. This will be a challenge. Way cool. HQ didn't mention this. A solar car workshop. And we've got half a million dollars to spend. Easy. We'll just use the best of everything. I don't know if we can afford to do that. Some of this stuff is pretty pricey. Good point. The shape of a solar car is very important. The two things to think about are aerodynamics and exposure to sunlight. The tilting wing is very good for energy collection is not what will we build our solar car out of carbon fiber is very strong you need a battery so you can have spare energy for times when it's cloudy there are four different types of batteries. You can use any combination you like. Two things to think about. The first is weight. Try to keep it down. The battery is usually the heaviest part of the car. Second thing is efficiency. You always lose some energy when you charge a battery. The more efficient the battery, the less you lose. Solar cells are actually light-sensitive semiconductors. When they are hit by photons of light, it creates a voltage between the upper and lower surfaces of the cell. The more photons absorbed, the more electric power they make. There are lots of types of solar cells. The most efficient ones... An efficient electric motor is important, but the best ones don't come cheap. Which colour will we make our car? <laughs> Did HQ say what we get if we win? No. Okay, let's see how this baby goes. It's time to get to the starting line. 
I team, you're ready to race. Experienced drivers can go directly to the starting line. Otherwise, here's a quick explanation of the rules. Five cars race against each other over three days, starting in Darwin and ending up in Adelaide. Each day they race between 8 in the morning and 5 in the afternoon. You have to stop them, but you can still use any daylight to recharge your batteries. The goal is to get to Adelaide as fast as you can. Try to use the power from your solar cells or batteries as efficiently as possible. The power from your solar cells can run the car or charge your batteries. If you see this bar flashing green, it means your batteries are charging. If it's red, it means you're draining the battery. If you have major problems, you can always retire and redesign your car. So, keep an eye out for hills and clouds and watch that speedo. Good luck! Angel, did you get all that? You can replay these instructions or go to the starting line. Well, it's a beautiful sunny day in Darwin today. Perfect condition for the start of the World Solar Challenge. Competing in the race, ladies and gentlemen, a number of great experimental cars, including the Alien and the Amal. That's French for love. Or should that be uh, Amour? Excuse my French. Anyway, here's the ingenious car, Australia's entrant in the race. And uh, waiting for the lights to turn green. Five, four, three, two, one. And they're off and racing in the World Solar Challenge. 3,000 kilometres across the continent from tropical Darwin to beautiful Adelaide. Powered only by the light from the sun. Things are looking grim on day one of the World Solar Challenge. A heavy cloud pattern has moved in, cutting the light from the sun, apart from a few patches. Forecast is better for day two. Five p.m. and end of day one of the World Solar Challenge. Still too early to call. All teams now stopping for battery recharge and some sleep. I hope we have enough rechargeable batteries to store all of the power in this evening sunlight. Rise and shine, sleepyhead. It's race time. Let's use the morning sun to put some more charge in the battery before we have to get on the road again. At 8 a.m. Day two of the World Solar Challenge. Forecast is for lots of lovely sun, but there will be a cloud or two to make things interesting. Stay tuned. We've got a neck and neck situation with the ingenious car here. Very exciting racing.
Here comes the ingenious car. And an ingenious finishes the World Solar Car Challenge. Third. Congratulations, I team. You've crossed the Australian continent using nothing but energy from the sun. You've helped prove that we can make the world a cleaner place. I've got a special mission award for your efforts. Also, you might want to check. And if you want to know more about solar cars, check the info dossier.